welcome back to my Dark Souls remastered playthrough. Um, so last time we just tried to tie up some loose ends, try find NPCs that have sort of left Firelink Shrine, the Onion Knight and uh, his daughter and uh, what's the other one? Master Logan, the Pyromancer. Can't remember what the Pyromancer's name was. Um, and Master Logan was, he looks like he's going hollow, but he's still, uh, he's still just sitting in the archives. So I think you're meant to buy all these spells for him to finally end up going hollow. Um, I'm not going to do that. Because I'm not a, not a mage or whatever. And then uh, the Onion Knight. Um, I ended up saving him without really... Um, because I had killed all the things where he spawns the like, last time. And I thought he would move again, but apparently he doesn't. Because I have already saved him. And then after that, he basically just stays there, I think. So, or at least that's what it seems like. <clears throat> um, now, I'm going to... I'm going to do the DLC. I think I should be able to do it already, because I've killed the Hydra over here. I don't know how people discovered how to do this without googling it. It's very obscure because you have to, as far as I know, you have to beat the Hydra and then... Uh, no, 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 I'm wrong. Wait, well, when you beat the Hydra, right, you get a, the, you get a ring from it, the Dusk of Ulysseal ring and the DLC is set in Ulysseal, which is like a ancient version of Darkroot Basin, Darkroot Gardens. So when you go to the Duke's archives, there's, a, there's one of these golems just standing around um, outside the archives. And when you kill that, some in, an NPC is supposed to spawn here and that you can talk to. I don't know. Maybe I fucked it up somehow. Maybe I'm supposed to kill the the, the golem first, then come here, kill the hydra, and then the NPC spawns. Whatever. Guess we'll see what happens. Because I haven't done this for a while. I don't see an NPC. Maybe I don't need the NPC. I did get the ring, right? Um, so... Then at the back of this, like, water... There's meant to be, like, a, a teleporter that teleports you to the DLC. I don't, I don't know how people figured it out the first time. If some people are just, like... They just have that brain that connects obscure, like, seemingly unrelated things. I need to be careful not to fall. Let's see if I can get this. This should be like a black... Oh wait, here's another golem here, there we go. So once I kill this golem, maybe the NPC spawns. Or maybe the portal or whatever spawns. Punished. Yeah. This gun is strong. There we go, there's the NPC. Let me talk to her. So, it is thou who rescued me. Most gracious, I am 
deeply obliged. I am Dusk of Ulysseo. I cometh from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseo, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Um, yes. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond words. Then I shout, engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Okay. Signature. Now, where the fuck do I have to reload now? Because this is where you meant to fight the. find the. the portal. I wonder if I'm doing this in the wrong order. Maybe I'm supposed to now go kill that golem. Where's the closest bonfire? I think the closest... Uh, let me just fucking homeward bone, it's gonna take long to run. I should have a homeward bone. I only have two left, well... Wait, where can you buy them? I'm sure I saw some of them. I think some of the merchants sell homework bones. Really? Um, okay. Let's go to the ended parish. I think I was meant to save her first, then kill that golem. But let's see if if I... Because I killed the golem anyway, because the golem was already sp spawned at the Duke's archives. But maybe I need an item from that golem, actually. Okay, I think I might need to kill that golem. Um, I think the best way to do it is to is to go to an Orlando right and then run from there because it's just outside the archives Let's see if this woman says anything hmm. you have made it back very well. Go ahead. Even an undead. If you require rest, that is... I still can't believe that you only get plus four, maybe plus five, if I had used the Firekeepers uh, in uh, the Ash Maiden. If I would used her... Um, her soul. I would have been able to get another one. Can I roll underneath this? Oh. Yes, I can. I... Okay, let's run up this hill. I refuse to sing that song. Because <laughs> now suddenly... Apparently, like, I was... I was singing the fucking running up that hill song when I was doing the Duke's archives without knowing it, it suddenly blown up and now it's like some fucking everywhere song because it's apparently in Stranger Things 4 and even this morning on, on Instagram I saw another dude that I follow uh, who paints like little Dark Souls models 
he had used he was using that fucking song in one of his like videos. So it's like suddenly everywhere. Like Kate Bush is making like a massive comeback. Whereas I was just fucking singing it because it I thought it was <laughs> it's a cool song. But now it's like a fucking hype train. Everyone's riding the hype train. I haven't watched Stranger Things for yet. Um, oh, there's a girl in so me. Okay, um, I need to not die. These things are like boosted, I think. Maybe they're not. Oh no, they are. They are boosted, definitely. They do way. They're doing way too much damage. Them. Again. Miss. Dude. There we go. There we go. I need those to get into DLC. Okay, let me go back down. Just walk there again. I'll read the broken pen in just now. Okay, so you have to save the woman first, it seems. And then you have to come here. You see, it's like super obscure, right? Because now, what if you never fucking find that one? She's like hidden. I actually need to read the shield of the onion right night as well. I forgot I had not read it. Dark Moon Seance Ring. Got that ring. I can go f kill Dark Moon, Dark Sun, Gwendolyn as well. Um, so let's read the broken pen. Where is the key item? There it is. Half of a broken stone pennant. The vine appears to originate from Olysseal. A powerful magic can be sensed from this ancient stone. Yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct air consisting of both reverence, reference and nostalgia. Nostalgia. Okay. Shield of certain knights of Katarina used in attacks with a large protrusion in center. Can be used as a thrust weapon. Interesting. Okay, well, let me rest here. Yeah, so it's like super obscure, right? Because I mean you do find you do find the enchanted ember in Dark Root Basin, and you also find Dusk's ring from the Hydra in Dark Rook Basin. But then you can only find this pendant if you manage to find the uh, Dusk at the back of that like river, right? And it's like I don't know if you saw, but you can fall and die. When I was fighting the Hydra, I went too far into the water and I fucking drowned. Right, because you can't swim in this game. And uh, that's like a deterrent uh, for trying to explore the water, right? So I'm sure a lot of people, if you don't Google where the fuck to fall, well, I was one of those. I Did I find it by myself? I don't think so. Oh, fuck. Where am I going? Sorry, I'm like talking, so I'm like losing track of my... It looks like I'm going the right way, though. Um, 
if you do manage to find the golem, then you can just read the pen and go like, Oh, I read about Ulus seal here because this is where you find Dusk's ring when you defeat the Hydra. Then it's not too obscure, right? But if you don't manage to, f to even find this golem, and if you don't know there's a DLC automatically included in Dark Souls Remastered, then you're not gonna fucking know how to find this. I don't know, it just seems like super obscure. Maybe I'm overthinking it, maybe most people do like run this way because because of trying to explore or something. But I remember because I didn't I played the prepare to die version of Dark Souls first. And uh I don't, don't think that comes with the DLC. So when I played this version on my Switch, uh, Switch Lite, you see, here's the thing. It's a portal to, to Ulasil. There we go. That's random. It's okay. Uh, octopus hand. Sanctuary garden. Okay. Well, let me rest here. Sanctuary. Sanctuary Guardian. Ah, oh, it's like a. Uh, oh, shit. Miss. Oh, I saw that. Man, I should have dodged. Might have to block. Oop. Okay, okay. You didn't take shit. <laughs> Ah, I missed. That was a great opportunity. Fuck me, this thing's strong. Dude. Oh. Oh, it's not giving me a chance, holy shit. I might have to wear heavy armor here. Attacks are too slow. There we go. Fuck you. Fuck you again. Okay, so it takes a full slow damage, but it doesn't. No. It keeps jumping out the way. That's right. 
legs. I am the biggest dick in here. Ah, fuck all this. Fucking kick. I hate the kick. Nah, man. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, okay. So close, but yet so far. I'm gonna... Got its tail at least, so that's cool. camera yes come on one more ah you're nice no that's so close yes 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 fuck you are you not entertained? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, fuck you. Go fucking ride a dick in the bushes. Fucking lying the cunt. <sighs> Holy shit, okay. Um, I picked up a soul. There we go, guardian soul. Soul of the White Winged Lion Sanctuary Watchkeeper, who dreaded the spread of the abyss. The Guardian exhibited traits of several animals other than lions, suggesting that it was no ordinary beast, but rather closer to being known as demons. Okay. That's weird though, right? Because it's a. It says it's against the abyss. Uh, I suppose demons are a different factions. So. Um, and then I got its weapon. I got a tail. This tail was so much easier to get than Sith's one. So I couldn't get it. That's oh, a whip. Slice tail for Sanctuary Guardian. This flexible, spiked, and highly poisonous tail would make a rather obnoxious weapon. Okay, so it's poison. Okay. okay, let's keep running. See if we can get some flasks. This is this the right way? I'm not sure. Um, it looks like it because the other one was more like a, uh, like a cave. This one's more like a building. Ula Seal Sanctuary. I mean, it looks cool. It's like all sunny and shit. Oh, yeah, it's a bonfire here. Oh, there's a mushroom. I'm assuming that's a friendly mushroom if it's not... Uh, if it's by the bonfire. I cannot level up. Uh, let me pop some souls, maybe. I don't have that many souls. I've got one of the hero. Maybe that's overkill. Because I think that's like 20,000. 
Uh, I will fucking need it. Okay, well. Sorry, Soul of the Arrow. Oh, it's only 10,000. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, fuck. What do I level up? I guess I can level my endurance more. I can also level my vitality more. Gives me plus 20 HP. Don't know if I need it. Because, I mean, as far as I can tell, I'm just going to level my endurance more. Like, if I take too much damage, I can always just wear heavy armor. Okay, what the fuck's up with these statues? Kind of creepy. Uh, this mushroom's like part of the building. Talk. Well, look at this one. That's a woman. From what far away age hast thou come? Thy scent is very human indeed, but not intolerable. Ah, Princess Dusk's saviour. Thine aura is precisely as she described. I thank thee deeply for rescuing her highness. But Princess Dusk is here no longer, snatched away by that horrifying primeval human. And so I must ask, couldst thou once more play the saviour? Um, yes, I guess. Thank you. I am Elizabeth, guardian of this sanctuary. Something of a godmother to Princess Dusk. I shall assist thee to my utmost, for I am one with the sorceries of Auraseel. Um, okay. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Auraseel. Knight Artorius came to stop this, but such a hero has nary a murmur of dark. Without doubt he will be swallowed by the abyss, overcome by its utter blackness. Indeed, the abyss may be unstoppable. Still, I have faith that Princess Dusk may be rescued yet. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient beast, and threatens to swallow the whole of Ulysseel, not with indeed. Okay, so she sells stuff. Uh, it's magics and Ulysseel. Let me read these things then. Ancient sorcery of the lost land of Ulysseel. Turns right weapon invisible. Oh, that's interesting. Not a simple augmentation, making it dependent on the skill of its caster. An example of the capacity of Ulysseal sorceries to control light. Okay. This one turns body near invisible, hidden body. Although perfect invisibility is unachievable due to the risk of dissipation, the caster need only stand still for a moment to blend into environments. This is astounding camouflage. Cast light. Ancient sorcery of the lost land of Ulysseel casts a bright light upon surroundings. This light producing sorcery is elementary, but nonetheless demonstrates the achievements in mysticism of Ulysseel. Such magic has not been developed even in Vinheim. Repair. Ancient sorcery of the lost land of Ulysseel repairs equipped weapons and armor. This sorcery was a part of everyday life in Ulysseel. Its effects resemble repair powder, which must have found its way into the culture of this lost land. Chameleon. Or Chameleon. <laughs> Ancient sorcery of the lost land of Ulysseel, transformed into something inconspicuous. A separate stealth spell from Hidden Body, a skilled stealth sorcerer must be aware of his or her surroundings and of which objects are prime candidates for imitation. As you turn into random objects. Okay, Sorcery Catalyst of Lost Land of Ulysseel, formed by enchanted white bark branches. The white bark root, uh, white bark boosts sorcery adjustment. But the sorceries of this land, lost land, are gentle and not affected by intelligence. So what are they infected by? Faith? Weird. Um, okay. May the flames guide thee. Thanks. 
Interesting. Okay, well, let's see what's... Let's try and see if there's any items I'm missing here. Maybe I should kindle this bonfire. So I see I only have five flasks. Oh, there's an item here. Humanity. Okay. So this is like in the past, it seems. And she's talking about Knight Artorius. Yeah. Look at this lantern. That's very cool looking. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's Anna Orlando up there. So this is just basically Dark Root Basin. Because I think that cat... No, uh, maybe not. I was going to say the cat sits up here, but maybe not. I think this is just Dark Root to it. But in the past. A royal wood. Okay, so it used to be called the Royal Wood. But then, I guess it got consumed by the Abyss. What are these things? They're like gardeners. It's a random looking stone. Yeah, because this just looks like Dark Root. Uh oh, there's a golem. Uh, it looks kind of similar to the stone stone golems, but with a hammer. Oh, let me attack him. Um, okay, okay. That hits fucking hard. Roll! <laughs> Damn it. Ugh, roll, roll, roll. Oof, okay. Dude, oh, God. Die. So he does like a backswing type thing. Yeah. So you need to be careful with the backswing. And he has like fucking god. He's got like the god poise. <laughs> okay. So it takes three shots, so it's not like super strong, but it's like. Dude, what the fuck? It's like some sort of weird scarecrow. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to kindle my bonfire, right? Because that's just like, I can already see I'm struggling with these. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll be fine. There's another girl in there. The scarecrows are not really a problem. I can just smack them down. Yeah, purple. So these are like kind of like the the root, dark root, elemental. Like you know, the they're kind of similar, but those ones are more overgrown. Where the fuck's he going? Oh, it's a trap. You can hear other ones. Okay, so you're not that stupid. Hmm. It's a trap. Dude, okay. They do a ton of damage. I might have to level my vitality or wear um, heavier armor. Okay. I'm always like curious about DLCs, right? Because they always feel a bit disjointed from the main games. I mean, they used to be called expansions or mission packs. But it's, I mean, games have always made like DLC type things. Okay, this is not too hard when it's only one. You just have to dodge his attacks. 
There's a lot of flowers here, it's quite cool. Let's see what this is about. Guardian leggings. Okay, is that what those animals leggings, guardian leggings? Leggings of the Stone Knights, Guardians of the Forest Sanctuary. The Stone Knights are golems animated by magic and their enchanted leggings are oppressively heavy. Really? Well, he's 10. Okay. There's another thing hanging down there. Is there one here or something? See no items here. Yeah. Oh, there's a little bridge there. Okay, well, let me... Let me go this way first, because there was more... There's more dudes up here. Let's see if there's any more items. So this is where they jump down. So... I need to try fight these... Separately. I need to fight the... I need to fight these things first, right? Roll. Oh, nice. I interrupted him. That really helped. Stone Great Axe. So it's a fucking axe. Dude, pick up the item. Letter of Moss Clan. Okay, let me read the, the weapon. I have so many fucking items. Um, there it is. 48 strength. Great axe born by the stone... Oh, sorry. The stone knights who guard the forest sanctuary. This great axe requiring inhuman strength to wield and more are and more fitted to manual labor than battle is nonetheless completely lethal. Interesting. I see great axe born so does that mean blood born means that someone is wielding blood? I can't, I always thought that it means that someone born of blood. I guess a I've never played Bloodborne, but I've, I've watched the playthrough of it. So I don't have a... PlayStation. PlayStation 4? I had a PS2 when I was, like, younger. I still have the PS2, but it's... It's not here, it's in my mom's house. But, uh... I think it's broken, I think... I think it eventually died. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think the controller's like fucked out more than anything. The rubber on the analog sticks became like perished. I don't know how else you would say it. It was like it's like they almost melted after time. Wait, so I can go this way, but I can also go that way. Yeah, because look, there's like shit up there. Or is it like kind of going around if I got that way? But there's more like... There's nothing here, right? Oh, there's a chest here hidden. I can't see if it's a mimic or not. I guess I'll just open it. Blue Titanite's lab. Okay. Getting attacked by another one of these. Fuck it. Dude. Don't be that guy. Saw that swing coming. <coughs> um, this is actually kind of confusing where I'm fucking going. That item up there, I think, is on the other side. So I need to remember that there's like a tower, and there's something behind the tower. Look at that. 
was that? Oh, there's an item down there, so I guess I'm gonna go there. It looks like a coliseum of sorts. Interesting. Okay, so I can go this way. There's nothing here, though. That's an elevator down there. There's an item up here. Guardian gauntlets. Okay. So I'm picking up the whole set, it seems. Gauntlets of the Stone Knights, guardians of the forest sanctuary. Stone Knights are golems animated by magic, and enchanted gauntlets are press of the AV. Okay, so I think all of it's going to say the same. It's just heavy. It weighs a lot. <laughs> so this is a shortcut. Okay, so where the fuck did I start? Okay, so these things are all dead. So I think I started there. So, uh, wait, there's no enemy here. Not sure why you are here, but okay. See, this forest is confusing. It's like in in dark root, in the dark root gardens. I could kind of like find my way. This one is like feels more like I'm lost in the woods, right? Like if I'd looked that way, and now now I'm confused. There's an item there, so I can. I can go... Okay, so this is where they did the ambush. That's where I picked up the item. So let me go across here. I'm gonna have to kindle that bonfire. Uh, it's another dragon. Um, okay. Can I attack you? <laughs> nice. Okay, that's an interesting looking dragon. Its face reminded me of Berserk, the, the shadow hound or whatever. That's just... Oh, uh, there's a... Uh, I've not killed one of these in a long time. Can you hear, can you hear an enemy? Uh, so what the fuck's this? Uh, so this is the abyss. It's like spreading. So the abyss is like some sort of like taint. seems to be like claiming the land or something. It's like a toxin disease. Oh dude, he's got shears. He wants to fucking shear me. Can I jump over this? Okay, so that side of the garden looks fucking great. This side of the garden looks like it's fucking being taken by some sort of disease curse. So, the undead curse is not the first curse in this land. I guess the abyss was a curse already. Oh, no. Ha! <laughs> you suck. You clumsy motherfucker! Can I get up here? Oh, there's another jump. Whee! Guardian Helm. They definitely look like the stone golems in uh, uh, Dr. Garden. Stone Knight, Golems, Animated Magic, Kinchonia, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Guess I can just jump down here. Oh, my neck is feeling sore and I'm wearing my headphones badly or something. There's an item there, but I did see a golem somewhere here. Oh. Dude. There's an item down there. That's where the bridge was. There was a bridge somewhere over here. 
I guess this girl is just like kind of wandering around. Size me. What the fuck's he doing? Is he just gonna jump off? Guardian armor. So that's still full set. What the fuck's he doing? What are you doing, bro? That's right. Poise, motherfucker. Another stone axe. Yee, get off me. It's funny how, like, they look... Oh, great error. Okay. Great error used by Hawkeye. Gah. Gog. <laughs> One of the Lord Gwyn's four knights for dragon slaying requires a great bow. Gog personally crafts each stone tip and wraps the shaft tightly with tree bark. Okay, so there's stone arrows. 105. Okay. They're over here, so does that mean that dragon is down there? There's a ton of items there, so I guess it seems very likely, because this is where it flew over, right? Because I think the bridge was over here Some Yes, there's the bridge right here. So that means the dragon's probably down there. Guess I'll have to fight it at some point. I, I, I never killed a drake on the on the bridge either. That's something I can do, but I don't know. I don't like the the big enemies in this in in these types of games are very awkward to fight, especially the dragon ones. They they're too big. Man. Like I think the worst fights in the game are usually the dragon fights because they're so awkward. Um, they take up so much like space and they have such a long like reach that it makes it very difficult for you to to fight them. Um so there's an item here. Where did those guys go? There. Large soul of proud knight. That's kind of my beacon there that I'm using. There's an item on that side. So that I missed that item. I have to backtrack. Sun. Ah, oh, there's that item that I. It's not a crystal lizard. Ha. Twinkling type net. Here's another. I guess it's another elevator. Soul of Proud Knight. Can I go further? I can go around the other side. So I've already gotten the armor now. Can I ignore these guys? Oh. Oh, shit. I did not expect this to go down. Uh, this is a boss fight. Uh, does look like a boss fight. Uh, I can go down here as well. Oh, is that where the dragon is down there? What the fuck's that? Is that a bonfire? See, there's a guy standing there. Well, let me talk to him. Um, he looks different. Is he wearing a mask? He looks more Bloodborne-esque, right? Like a... A gentleman from... From London. <laughs> hmm... Ah, let me guess. Snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the past? Yes. Yes, of course. Exactly what happened to me. 
We are both strangers in this strange land, but at least now there are two of us. As a merchant. Did you happen across Knight Artorias, the legendary abyss walker from the old tales? No. Well, if you haven't, it's just as well. He's a colorless sort, if you ask me. <laughs> so, what did that giant mushroom make you do? Not that I care. It's none of my business. <laughs> hmm? I've... Oh, you know me. What do I know? <laughs> hmm? Oh, uh, so it says nothing else. Okay, let me purchase that. Okay, she just sells like the normal stuff. Let me buy some homeward bones. I can buy humanity. Um, and then he sells sort of standard arrows. He just sells arrows and... Okay. So long. So long. Is this an elevator that goes up? Or is it an elevator that goes down? It goes up. Okay. So is this the shortcut elevator that I found? I think it is. I think it is. Okay, so, yeah, it is. It's a weird fucking shortcut, though, because it's still quite long. It's still a, quite a long way to run. Is there an item there? No, I think it's just flowers. I need to kindle this bonfire. I'm going to need more flasks, defi definitely. Especially there's a, bo there's a boss. There's a boss there. Let me talk to this woman, and then I think I'm going to call it there, actually. And then I'll see what the fuck's behind that fog wall next time. Struggling, are we? If there's anything I can do, never hesitate to ask. I'm not struggling, but thanks. Thou shalt see further on. An abyss was begat of the ancient night, our talk without indeed stick. Okay. Um, cool. May you say shit. Go away. Um, okay, let me, let me kindle this, let's pop uh, 20 amenities. Surprising how much, like, humanity you get in this game. Especially if you don't die too much, like, you, you start, yeah, like, racking up quite a lot. Um, kindle, yes. I still haven't kindled past, like, the... Maybe I should. Maybe I should just do it. Maybe it's an achievement. I think you can only kindle it once more. It gives you plus five, like, flasks. Nice. Um, let me repair my equipment. Yes. And my armor. Uh, but this is not gonna break. But I might as well just repair it because it's not like. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not gonna level up anytime soon because I mean it takes so much. F um, uh, look at me. <laughs> I look like John Cena. <laughs> is it like John Cena? You can't see me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool, I think I'm caught there. I think when this DLC came out, because a lot of people, like, I don't know when the DLC came out, but the Dark Souls, I think this game was very popular when it came out originally. I mean, it's grown in popularity since then. But imagine, like, playing this game without the DLC, right? And kind of playing it over and over and over, really learning the lore and stuff, and then the DLC gets, like, dropped that expands on the lore of, like, the Dark Root Basin sort of area. 
Man, people must have been like fucking hyped as shit for that. At the time, right? Because I mean, I was I was pretty hyped when I learned there was a DLC because I was like, I wanted to play more of this game, right? So, so yeah. Um, anyway, that's my thoughts on on the DLC. Like, I still think it it does feel disjointed a bit because this feels more like a fairy tale type thing. Like, what the fuck? This mushroom is like a random like fairy type thing, and there's like a random princess you have to save. It feels more like Dark Souls 2, I think. Because um, I think I've said this before, I thought Dark Souls 2 felt more like a fairy tale type, you know, folklore sort of vibe with like princesses and princes and things like that. Um, evil queens. So. so it's just a different vibe. And then Dark Souls 3, even Dark Souls 3 maybe, it's very. Uh, like that, like King Arthur, sort of legend type stuff. Cool, shot. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I'm gonna call it there for now, and then I'll go down that elevator next time. So, shot. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that shit. Um, and yeah, oh, I'll see you on the next one. Maybe we're gonna find what's behind fog wall number one. Cool, thanks a lot, and uh, cheers.